Hello students, standard 6. Today we are going to see a story with moral. The Emperor's Seed. The author is anonymous, we don't know who has written this story, but it is a very worth story to read. The Emperor's Seed. You know who is an emperor? Emperor is a king of a particular place, we can say, or city, right? And what is meant by seed? Yeah, from which the plant grows or the tree grows, right? That is called seed. Let's see what is this emperor's seed. Once there was an emperor in the far east. In the east, there was an emperor. When he realized he was growing old, he called his ministers to his court. So he is becoming old. So when a king becomes old, what happened? He will be, he would be giving his position, the kingship, to his son. Right? Okay. So now, as he is becoming old, so in his court, where he used to sit, there he called all the ministers. He said, it's time for me to choose my successor. What is, what is meant by successor? His, the next king, we can say. Instead of choosing one of my own children or one of my assistants. So, he doesn't want to choose his sons, is any one of his sons or any one of his assistants. I have decided to do something different so you want to do something different and nowadays very rarely we can see that one's position was given to someone that is apart from relative or apart from his own family most of them they give the position to their own son right or to relatives now here king has decided to take things differently someone Summon all the young people in the kingdom to my court. So, gather all the people. Only the young people, not the old ones, right? The news spread and there was a large congregation, crowd of youths on the day of the announcement. So, on the day of announcement, all the young people gathered together. The king addressed the youth. He told the youth, Time has come for me to step down. That is, from his throne, he is going to get down. So, someone has to fill the throne. And choose the next ruler. I have decided to choose one of you to inherit. Inherit means to get in the throne. So, among the youth, one of you will get the chance to rule. Everyone, right? Everyone are young and they want to be the king. They want to be the king because it is a powerful position and everyone will act according to your words, right? The king, the young people stood short. The emperor continued, I am going to give each one of you a seed today. It is a very special seed. So he said, I am going to give a seed. And it is a special seed. I want you to go home, plant the seed and water it. Then one year from today, come back with what you have grown from this one seed. And he said, take that seed, go and plant it, daily water it. And then after one year from this day, that means the next year of this day, the same day, he will be again calling everyone and they have to show the plant. I will judge the plants that you bring to me and chosen one will become, will be the next ruler of this kingdom. So, I'll, he will see the plant and whose plant is better according to king's choice and whom he is selecting, they will be the next emperor. There was one boy named Ling who was there that day and he like the others received a seed. So among the youth 
there was a boy called Lee. He also got seed like the other youths. He went home and excitedly told his mother the whole story. And whatever has happened in the king's court, he everything shared to his mother. She helped him to get a pot and some planting soil. King planted seed. They were sorry, Ling planted seed and watered it carefully. Now what happened? Mother provided him a pot and soil. Ling planted it and he poured water. Every day he would water it and watch to see if it grown. So every day he used to daily morning he used to water it and he used to see whether this from the seed the cotyledon has come or not. After about three weeks, some of the youths began to talk about their seeds and plants that they were beginning to grow. Ling to went home and checked his pot. So some of his friends, after three weeks, he heard that their seeds began to grow. Ling went and checked. Nothing has grown. Alas, three weeks, but nothing has grown, said Ling to himself. Wow, three weeks over daily is pouring water but nothing has come but for his friends it began to grow in no time many others were talking about their parents but Ling spot did not have any plant everyone are talking about the plants now Ling's Ling's seed did not grow at all I feel like a failure moaned Ling so daily he he looked and he said, I am a failure. Six months, still nothing had grown. Everyone else had trees and tall plants while Ling had nothing. Now from three weeks to, now it becomes six months. Only six months are left. Now everyone, trees begin to grow. But Ling's seed did not. Ah, think, I have killed my seed, sighed Ling. However, he did not say anything to his friends. He just kept waiting for his seed to grow. He did not convey anything to his friends that his seed did not grow. So, he just observed whether it is growing or not. He heard, he heard whatever his friend says, but he observed his seed. A year went by in this manner. Today, all the youths of the kingdom will take their plants to the emperor for inspection. How can I take an empty pot? Said Ling to his mother. Now, what happened? One year got over. Three weeks become six months. Six months become one year. Now, today everyone are going to take the pot and go. And their plants have grown. But mine, nothing has come out. He felt very bad and he shared to his mother. His mother encouraged him. Do not stay back for fear. Go and take your pot. In, in any case, be honest about what has happened. She said, do not worry. You go. What has happened? Let it go. And be honest. Do not do anything. Take the empty pot and go. Ling felt sick to his stomach. But he knew his mother was right. He mustered up courage and took his empty pot to the palace. Now, what did he do? Is afraid also, but what his mother said was right. He wants to, he should be honest. So he takes his, he took his empty pot and went to palace. What a variety of plants had grown in, in the other young boy's pots. They were indeed beautiful in all shapes and size. Ling, sheep is, but his empty pot on the floor next to them. Many laughed at him. A few felt sorry for him, just said, hey, nice try. He went and saw. They have become, it has become the seed has become plants and plant has become tree and flowers and different different shapes. They were looking beautiful and nearby their pots. He kept his empty pot. Everyone began to laugh. See, nothing has grown. Someone said, "Hey, nice try, man." The emperor arrived and silence swept over the room. Everyone stiffed to attention. Now, emperor arrived. When they were, everyone are laughing, now everyone were quiet. They were, now, 
seeking for the attention. He greeted the young people by what great plants, trees and flowers you have grown. Today one of you will be appointed the next emperor. He said, big, big plants, big, big flowers, trees. Today one of you will be appointed as the emperor. The young people shuffled nervously in their palace, in their places. Ling just tried to hide from view. The emperor stretched his neck and he stood surveying the room. His eyes fell upon Ling with his empty pot at the back of the room. Now everyone's plant has grown, right? Now he hid behind them because emperor should not see him. But emperor saw Ling. He asked, who is that? Ling tried to screen himself. Get that young man to the front. The emperor told his gods. So he saw the empty pot and he told, who is that? He ordered his soldiers to bring him, gods to bring him. Get that young man in the front. Ling was terrified. He was afraid, frightened. Alas, the emperor knows I am a failure. Maybe he will have me killed. He thought that emperor is going to kill because nothing has grown in his pot. Hesitantly, he walked to the front. He doesn't want to go, but still he forced himself to grow. What's your name? Young man said the emperor. My name is Ling. He stuttered with fearfully he said. He gave reply to his question. Emperor asked, what's your name? He said, my name is Ling. He gathered, crowd burst into giggles. So, all the gathered crowd there they are inside the court so everyone began to laugh why because he had an empty pot the emperor raised his hand demanding silence he then looked at Ling now what happened emperor when everyone began to laugh emperor raised his hand and everyone become silent now Behold, you new emperor, his name is Ling. He announced to the crowd. Now he announced the crowd that who is the emperor? Ling is the emperor. Ling could not believe it. He could not even grow his seed. How could he be the emperor? Now, there was a question asked. He could not even grow a seed. How could it be? He could be the emperor. Obviously, it is the right question, right? Let's see. One year ago, I gave each one of you a seed. I told you to take the seed, plant it, water it, and bring it back to me today. One year ago, emperor gave seed, told them to water, plant, and water it, and bring back. Right? Everyone did. In fact, I had given you all boiled seeds, which would not grow. Alas, all few, except Ling, have brought me trees and plants and flowers. Which seed he has given? What type of seed he has given? He has given the boiled seed. If the boiled seed, the king has given, so boiled seed will not grow. But everyone, seed has grown, but ling seed did not grow. When he found that the seed would not grow, he substituted. That means changed. Another seed for the one I gave you. So what did he they planted, watered it, but it did not grow. So what they did? They changed the See, Ling was the only one with the courage and honesty to bring me a pot with my seed in it. Therefore, he is the one who truly deserves to inherit the throne. He said, Ling did not substitute any seed for this seed. Like all the others. He is a honest person. So, he has the right to sit on the throne. Now tell me students, do you want to be honest like Ling? Yes, I also want to be honest like Ling. And you also should try and you should be honest like Ling. I hope you have got this story. Thank you.